Biker TV is brought to you by Parts Canada and Drag Specialties. We support the sport. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. Wasp Cam, film, edit, share, prove it. Welcome to Biker TV. By bikers, for bikers. This week on Biker TV, motorcycle drag racing action. Canada's power sports leader, Royal Distributing. Visiting with fellow bikers in Toronto at the National Motorcycle Show. Canada's biggest biker weekend, the Wharf Rat Rally. But first, Tech Tips with Wally. Hi everybody, welcome to Biker TV, Tech Tips with Wally. This week we're gonna have a look at, at spoke tension. You know, there's nothing that quite looks quite as good as a, as a spoked wheel going down the road. Um, a lot of our motorcycles have them. One thing that's possible to happen though is they can loosen off a little bit. Before we look at how to, how to tension the spokes, just let's have a look at the wheel and, and see what we've got here. Most of the Harley-Davidson wheels that we have have 40 spokes in the wheel. And if you look at the wheel, you can see that we have groups of four. So we have 10 groups of four spokes going around the wheel. And in that group of, of, of four spokes, we'll have two spokes coming to the right side of the hub. And we'll have two spokes in that group going to the left side of the hub. Now on each side, two of those spokes will be going clockwise and two will be going counterclockwise. So we're gonna start at the valve stem and I'm gonna take the first spoke and I'm gonna make a black mark. And I'm gonna come down the nipple and onto the rim. So I have basically an alignment mark of where that nipple is sitting right now. And I'm gonna go four spokes from there, or in other words, the first spoke in the next group, and I'm gonna make a mark on that one. And then I'm gonna come to the first spoke on the next group, and I'm gonna make a black mark on that one. And I'm gonna go all the way around the wheel and mark the first spoke in each group with a black marker. Then I'm gonna take my red marker, and I'm gonna to go to the second spoke. And I'm gonna make a mark on the nipple and on the rim. Next group, same thing. I'm gonna go all the way around the wheel and do that. Third spoke, I'm gonna take my green marker. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Last but not least, I'm gonna take my light green marker and I'm gonna take the fourth spoke in the group and I'm gonna mark it. So when I'm finished, what I've got now is every spoke on the wheel would have a mark on it of some color, all in the same pattern. Now I'm gonna take my spoke wrench and I'm going to loosen off number one spoke a quarter of a turn. So my black ones, starting at my valve stem, I'm gonna take and loosen this guy off a quarter of a turn. Now, I'm gonna take my spoke wrench that I have set at 55 inch pounds and I'm going to tighten that spoke and turn it until it clicks at 55 inch pounds. If it clicks before the marks align, then I'll turn it until the marks align. If I've gotten to where the marks are aligning but it hasn't clicked yet, I'll keep on going but not more than a quarter of a turn past mark alignment. So I'll go to number two. Once I've done number two, then I'll do number three, and I'll keep on going all the way around the wheel until I've done them all. So that's the procedure that they would be using in the shop to, to check the tension on your, on your spokes. It's, it's probably not something you can do at home because you're not gonna have one of these uh, spoke torque wrenches, I wouldn't think, um, and really, we used to do it that way by sound, but we don't want to do it that way anymore. It's, it's not accurate enough. Now we actually will check the torque on, on the, on the uh, spokes themselves. Once we're all finished that, there's a couple other things that we want to just check and make sure we haven't taken our wheel out of true. And the couple things that we would look at is if our wheel, if our rim is moving this way, there's a specification for that, a maximum. Uh, we'd put a dial indicator on the side of our rim and we check and see what the lateral runout was. And we would also have uh, the radial runout to be concerned with that we'd want to check. 
and that would be basically the, the run out uh, up and down on the wheel or, or around the radius of the wheel. There's another, um, another specification that when we're actually lacing and truing wheels that we're concerned with, and that is um, the placement of the, of the rim on the hub as far as side to side, or in other words, um, what we would do is we'd take a, a measurement from our brake disc flange on the hub, and we'd measure to a given spot on the side of the rim, and there'd be a specification for that. So we, we probably will, we'll, once we're finished, we'll check the radial and lateral run out and just make sure that we don't have to chew the wheel up a little bit. So once again, you'll go all the way around the wheel, following that same procedure, tightening up one and four and two and three, so you've got them all tight. Um, get your bikes in, get them in for the regular service. This is a regular service interval on the spokes to have them have the tension checked. Take care of your spokes and they'll take care of you. When we come back, Canada's power sports leader, Royal Distributing. Diesel spec. Tuning for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call diesel spec? Canada's power sports leader. Shop online, by phone, or visit any of our four huge superstores. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. Be on national TV. Tour beautiful Kent County. Come ride for a great cause. The second annual Chatham-Kent VON ride. Welding techniques, training for success. Come see our new virtual training lab at advancedwelding.ca. Biker TV is brought to you by The Rock and Wheel Ride with Sam Roberts and Chad Brownlee. The Boot Hill Hearse, shake the ground one last time. Hip Cycle, complete Harley Davidson service where Biker TV goes. The Shades of Hope Ride, Riding for Autism. Biketoberfest, Live to Ride. Laidlaw Carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a dry van. Now hiring company drivers and owner operators. Dragon Jeans, the authentic motorcycle jeans. Biker TV rides safe in Dragon Jeans. Dragon Jeans, what's covering your butt?
closed captioning by Biker TV merchandise. Shirts, DVDs, posters. By bikers, for bikers. Welcome back to Biker TV. By bikers, for bikers. It's a beautiful day in Guelph, Ontario, and we're checking out the sweet deals at the annual No Tax Tent Sale here at the home of Canada's power sports leader, Royal Distributing. Check it out. So what's going on today? Uh, we're actually having a No HST sale happening right now on all of our products, helmets, bags, saddlebags, bicycles, uh, parts, all accessories and everything. Like Lots that. of sweet deals. Oh, awesome. Great it's deals. It's an annual thing, isn't it? It is, yep. We've been doing it for quite a while now and it's been working really well for us. So. Right on. You always do it at this location? Yeah, we'll actually have it at uh, all of our four locations and it's a good spot for all the bikers to come and hang out. What brings you guys out today? A uh, beautiful day and uh, good reason to go out for a spin and check out the distributors today. Some sweet deals. What were you shopping for today? A uh, bike cover, helmet for the little girl. Oh yeah, nice. The Royal's awesome. It's always a great place to come. So you girls are really fast. You don't want to admit that? <laughs> Who wants to know? Okay, <laughs> okay never mind. <laughs> yeah. what, you, what, you, uh, what brings you out to the tent sale? Uh, I got a beautiful pair of leather pants here at Royal Distributing, and I got a tire for my dirt bike. Nice. <laughs> yeah, and some coolant, a bunch of stuff. And what would you get? Just some oil. Just some oil? Well, hey, that's a necessity item. Yep. Best deal around. Sweet. For sure. Uh, you're with Wasp Cam. Yes, I am. Tell me about that. Wasp Cam's great. It's been an exciting couple years. Came out with uh, three different cameras. The newest, which is our Gideon model, shoots at 1080, 60 frames per second, and uh, retails for about $100 less than any of our competitors. Sweet. And you got everything here with you today? Yep. Yeah, mounts, cameras, action. Got some shopping done today. Yep, awesome. Got lots of stuff. I noticed you got some biker chick riding apparel in the bag. Definitely got my fox gear. Yep. Sweet, sweet. What do you guys ride? Uh, I ride a WR250 dual sport, and she's got just a little dirt bike a too. Little DMAC 200. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Yeah. You got to start somewhere. How long have you been riding? Exactly. Just this year. Just this year, new rider. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, you got the gear to do it. Yeah. I finally just got everything together, so I feel really prepared. Yeah. That's you're nice. all pumped up. Yes, I am actually. Excellent. I'm really excited. We're going next weekend. What brings me here? Yeah, a what motorcycle. Brings you here? A motorcycle. You getting some swag for your bike? I was, yeah. We're going to try and get some stuff, but uh, don't tell my wife. No, I won't. Um, okay. <laughs> tell me about your uh, about the show and shine you got coming up. Uh, we got a show and shine. It's through Canadian Motorcycle Cruisers, the 046 chapter. Uh, it's at Steelcraft uh, Clemmers in Waterloo, May right. 10th on su uh, Saturday. Words to live by, eat, right. sleep, ride. Yeah, yeah definitely. That's, that's the most important. Yeah, exactly. And what are you doing today? Oh, I'm actually working in the tent here, getting everything uh, cleaned up, organized, helping out everybody. Awesome, busy dude. Yeah, oh, of course, it's always busy around here. What's your name? Jen. Jen, and uh, you working here shopping? What's going on? Shopping. Shopping, of course. She says it like shopping. <laughs> And what do you ride? I have a CBR 600. Oh, good for you. How long have you been riding? Seven years. Awesome. Got That's yourself true. an Icon lid. Brand new helmet. What's in the bag? I bought a sweater. Icon sweater. Oh, nice. And you guys still do a bike night? We do. When is that at? June and July, every Thursday after 6 o'clock. We got tons of great prizes and live music. And we uh, also have a barbecue. Right on. Every Thursday, you said? Every Thursday for June and July. Alrighty, I'll be here. Perfect. Well, you know riding season's here when the tent sale is on. Always nice to see happy shoppers from far and wide and our good friends at Royal Distributing. Thanks for watching and ride safe. Thank you, TV Rocks. You're awesome. <laughs> After the break, Canada's biggest biker weekend, the Wharf Rat Rally. Visiting with fellow bikers in Toronto at the National Motorcycle Show. Why pay more? Check us out. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. We have parts, accessories, and lots more for all makes of cruisers, V-Twin, and metric.
Canada's largest selection of helmets and clothing. Shop our website, shop by phone, or visit any one of our huge superstores. Why pay more? Check us out. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. Laidlaw Carriers Tank Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. Task performance, so you want to go fast. Diesel spec. Tune in for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call diesel spec? We take people that want to get into the industry and we spend 15 weeks with them and we prepare them to work in, a, in an authorized Harley-Davidson dealership as a technician. Harley-Davidson training. The sky's the limit. Biker TV is brought to you by Biker TV Border Crossing Ride. Come out and support our troops. Universal Cycle. We don't just sell motorcycles. We sell motorcycling. Conquer Motorcycles, Ride and Rock for Kids, featuring Trooper. Kane's Harley-Davidson, complete sales and service. The Biker TV, Universal Cycle, Ride to the National Drag Bike Finals. This is our 33rd show, so 33 years we've been doing it, and basically it was started my husband Bob, went down to California, and there's swap meets down in California, and you've got to go back 33 years to remember them when they were swap meets, and there was nothing like that available in Canada anywhere. So he decided to come back and start a swap meet, which is what we did, and it was a one-day event down at Harbourfront in Toronto, and there was 4,000 people that first year, uh, paying two bucks to get in. Uh, after that year, we came down to Exhibition Place and it's, this is where we've called home since then. So we've been in four different buildings down there because as we've grown and new buildings were built, we had to make changes and move around, but we've just adapted to it and here we are, 33 years later. Bikes and tattoos just go together. And, and another thing we added this year, for instance, is there's custom motorcycles. Everybody knows custom motorcycles. We have uh, a dozen custom bicycles that you would not believe they're bicycles and they are in here as well because everything is changing and we want to change with it. We dare to be different and we'll keep changing as it changes with us. We've had the heaviest winter we've had in decades here in Ontario. There's still bits of snow in the trees but here at the, down the CNE grounds in Toronto the very uh, last spring show before we all hit the round uh, roads running People get new tires. It's an old school swap meet here, one of the last in the country. So for us to be here after a long, hard winter, getting all our supplies ready for a new season ahead, it's a great pleasure to be here and see all these bikes parked outside instead of snowmobiles for a change. 
This summer we got a, a heavy season ahead of us. There's a whole lot going on in 2014. It's the 100th anniversary of the Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry and the Royal Canadian Regiment uh, are going to be supporting us as well as the Vandus. The Royal 22nd are having their 100th anniversary as well it's the 200th anniversary of the end of the fighting in 1812-1814. So there's commemorations of that sacrifice going on right across the country. And as well the Afghanistan mission just ended up. So May the 9th we'll be having a National Day of Tribute across Canada paying respect to all those soldiers, sailors and air crew who gave their everything, their service or too many times their very lives in the service of freedom of the people of Afghanistan. We've got a great, great year ahead of us for sure. There'll be a 34 next year and we hope to see everybody here and line those motorcycles up outside the door so everybody can come and take a look. Well, we've got a little uh, friendly competition going for the Wharf Rat Rally a weekend. Myself and Chef uh, Sam Yagi from Halifax. And uh, he's doing a, a skewered scallop outside. And I've chosen to do a, uh, a scallop that I, I took some prosciutto and froze them in little sticks. And took the scallop and, and studded them into the prosciutto. So pan fry the scallop. And then um, made a dulce mayo. Dulce is pretty popular around here. So soaked out a little bit of mirin, rice cooking wine, um, and then mayonnaise. So a little bit of that on there, and then uh, a watermelon relish. It's watermelon season, everybody loves watermelon, so it's fresh too. You got the dulls, which is a little salty. Uh, you got the scallop with prosciutto, which can be salty, and then tidy it all up nice with uh, a watermelon relish. There's a sign on the highway that says, world famous Diggy Scallop, so what else are you going to do, right? It's just a friendly competition, and Dale is uh, the executive chef at the uh, Pine, uh, you know, the Pine Valley Resorts where I stay. And it's amazing, it's, he's helped me, and uh, I've just done a 21 spice uh, marinade in his kitchen this morning. with some green pepper, red pepper, and onions. Uh, I'm doing my own flavored cherries. I've got my uh, mango chutney with melon seeds. So I'm balancing out the three different tastes of tongue, the hot, the sour, and the sweet. And these are as fresh as you're ever gonna get. They're beautiful. This is the winner. Good, very good. Scott. Scott. It's going to be a real tough one. It was absolutely delicious. I'm having a riot down here. Yeah, the, the weather's not really cooperating, which is unfortunate, but I mean, hey, everybody's making the most of it. It's absolutely, it's a great revenue for, for Digby. Stick around. After the break, Don Fergan and CMDRA Motorcycle Drag Racing Action in Medicine Hat, Alberta. Biker TV is brought to you by Chatham Bike Fest. Custom bikes, swap meet, and party. Supporting big brothers and big sisters. Hip Cycle. Complete Harley Davidson service. Where Biker TV goes. The Rockin' Wheel Ride with Sam Roberts and Chad Brownlee. The Boot Hill Hearse. Shake the ground one last time. The Shades of Hope Ride. Riding for autism. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. Shop online, by phone, or visit any of our four huge superstores. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. Atlantic Canada's largest motorcycle rally, the Wharf Rat Rally, Digby, Nova Scotia. If you're at all interested in any type of training regarding motorcycles, I don't think there's a better place in the world. We're Canada's number one motorcycle trainers. Challenger Motor Freight. Once you get into trucking, it gets in your blood. 
there's something about it, you're, you're connected to it. It's that movement of freight, that interaction of man and machine. Join our team and go the distance. Dragon Jeans, protect your assets. Dragon Jeans. Challenger Motor Freight. We understand the movement of goods from anywhere to anywhere in the world. We connect the dots and add clarity to life. And that's what supply chain does. Challenger Motor Freight. Join our team and go the distance. Biker TV is brought to you by Biker TV Border Crossing Ride. Come out and support our troops. Support the CMDRA, Motorcycle Drag Racing Action. Conquer Motorcycles, Ride and Rock for Kids, featuring Trooper. The Cumberland Motorcycle Roundup, a rockin' Vancouver Island bike rally. Biker TV Advertising, we speak to millions. Welcome everyone to uh, Biker TV. Uh, this is the CMDRA at the Medicine Hat Drag Strip for the uh, Badlands Nationals brought by uh, Ivan at the good folks at Medicine Hat Harley Davidson. Today we're going to run some qualifying and uh, run some, see where we can get the ladders out for the guys for the end of the day. You're going to see some good runs, I'm sure. The track is sticky. This is one of the best tracks for traction in North America, renowned for it. So we're gonna look for some great ETs. Everything's gonna happen real fast, so stay tuned for the action. What do you got going here on the trailer? Oh, I've got some wares for sale here. Uh, it's a great event. Uh, love seeing everybody come out and uh, support this event, so. Well, certainly the CMDRA appreciates you as a sponsor, stepping to the plate and uh, doing a great job. You were running the bike last year, uh, not so much this year? I sold it uh, about a month ago, so I'm still picking my next bike, probably ah. a destroyer. Okay, excellent. So then we see you back out here on a regular basis then maybe, eh? I think so. Okay, really good. Thanks. Have a good day today. Thank you. Right now we're here in the pits with uh, Kristen Young. Uh, Kristen happens to be the uh, fastest female in Canada that I know of. She runs a pro-stock motorcycle and uh, it runs into the seven second bracket. It's NHRA legal. Can you tell us a little bit about the bike, Kristen? Uh, we got sponsored on the bike just this first year. We've only done 20 passes on it. We're still tuning. Uh, last weekend there we blew off a 786 at 171 miles an hour. Next weekend we hope to have it out. Keep running her down. Excellent. Now, Kristen and Shane are locals here at the track, and they run here quite a bit. And I understand that you did the race school at George Rice uh, down in Florida. I did. I went down and did the race school twice. Uh, George is an awesome guy. He taught us lots about tuning, riding, the whole gamut. Nate is running a top fuel motorcycle and I uh, understand you had a great year last year over in Europe. Yeah, yeah we did. We went uh, to Europe to race for the FIM and the UEM and I guess this year it's uh, FIA uh, Super Twin which is basically Nitro Harley Davidson Championship. We ran eight events over in Europe and took home the win and it was great. Brought home all the marbles. Heck European champion. Heck of an experience. Excellent, excellent job. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about your bike? It's a 2011 weekend chassis. It's um, It's got a fast lane racing Nitro V60 motor in it, which is uh, hands down probably one of the fastest, strongest motors on the planet when it comes to nitromethane. And uh, couldn't be where I am in racing today if I didn't have that thing, so. Looks like you've been racing about as long as I have. How many years? 
35 years. 35 years, yeah, same with here, 35 years. So you're the uh, six-time national champion and seven-time destroyer champion, am I correct? Seven-time West, six-time Canadian, yes, sir. All right, what kind of uh, time is you getting for record runs? Uh, 9.24, 144 mile an hour. And that is both records for you, right? Uh, nope. Pete Thompson's got the mile an hour record out east. Ah, okay, a little bit of rivalry there. We Pete go to yeah. Port St. John where the track's downhill and we're gonna get that one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not at that altitude though. <laughs> so, but uh, this is one of the better tracks here. If we can get the air to come around tomorrow, it might be a little bit good. Traction certainly will be there. Yeah, it's a great track and the track crew here does a fabulous job. Dave Toth is uh, number one track prep dude. We're here with Dave Toth, who is the uh, track prep guy and the president of the MHDRA. Dave, I noticed there were some cars running here earlier. What's the purpose of the cars at an old motorcycle event? Uh, the cars basically will put a starting line down here for us, lay some rubber down, and put a nice wide groove in there for the bikes so they don't have to line up in one little bike path. Excellent. Now, uh, can you tell us what goes on in the uh, track prep here? Because uh, Medicine Hat is known for some of the best traction in North America. Tell us what you do. <laughs> well, I really don't want to give my secrets away, but it, uh, basically we drag, we put powder down, we drag some more, and we spray with traction compound. Now, the traction compound that we're talking about, if everybody can take a look down here, see how sticky it is? You can hear that feet sticking to it. Now, that's actually not where the traction is. The traction happens to be in these black spots right here, and you can see the groove going out the track, so the bikes will line up in this groove for maximum traction. Shiny stuff is actually sticky, but it's not a good place to run on. You want to be on the dull block stuff. That's where the rubber is and the most hook is. Thanks for that insight, Dave. We all take pride in our rides. Send us a picture of your sweet bike, and it might be on national TV. Two wheels, good enough for biker TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at bikertv.ca. We all take pride in our rides. Send us a picture of your sweet bike and it might be on national TV. Next week on Biker TV, cool bikes at the third annual Halifax Motorcycle Show. Don Fergan and CMDRA motorcycle drag racing action in Medicine Hat, Alberta. And Tech Tips with Wally. Biker TV is brought to you by Wasp Cam. Film, edit, share, prove it. Royal Distributing, Canada's power sports leader. Parts Canada and drag specialties. We support the sport. Hunger, running wild and living free, riding high on that carousel.